A Ninth Age Battle of Highborn Elves vs Sylvan Elves. Refused flank. The Highborn Elves drop everything first to take the first turn. They have a double Knights of Rhyme army. Lord of Seagars and Spearmen here. And a dragon and much magic. A mage, a master of Cranic Tower and so on. After dropping everything first, the Highborn Elves have to face this Sylvan Elf army of Sylvan Sentinels, five on the left flank, two units of Pathfinders, and 30 Sylvan Archers, with Blade Dancers and Drives in the rear, and two Tree Fathers, an Avatar of Nature, and a Divination Master here in the forest. The objective is to capture the flags. And the Highborn Elves forgot to deploy their Fast Cavalry and their Flame Phoenix in Blue Flames as normal. So here they come. After the advance of the Highborn Elves, the Lothan Sea Guard got Ravenswing cast on them after the Hereditary spell was dispelled. Then the Sylvan Elves and their Avatar of Nature failed their march test. The Tree Father, Divination Master, failed a charge against the Flame Phoenix, and the rest of the shooting army shuffled about to get within range, mostly to shoot at these Sea Guards who had Ravenswing. It's a desperate plight for the Sea Guards, but they're making a run for an aggressive attack against the Sylvanov base forest. It's a very base thing to hide in the forest. We know it. The Lothan Sea Guards almost fell. There are three left, and the hero who now charge the Pathfinders who stand and shoot. Now the Sylvan army is already threatened because of the Ravenswing spell. Oh, Highborn Elves, turn two. On their round two, the Sylvan Elves shoot down four Dragon Princes. And it's a tight pinch in their defensive castle. Summer's Growth is cast on the General, so he regains all wounds. And everything else is pretty even here. The Drys, no, the Archers fail their General's leadership on Steadfast, so they flee after being charged by the Master of Cranach Tower and the Dragon Prince, no, the Prince of Rima, the Dragon Prince. So they flee off the table, and the two Highborn Elves pivot to face the rest of the Sylvan Elves. The Sylvan Elves have not been able to place themselves in an advantageous manner. For example, the Avatar of Nature has not been able to shoot down the Chaff, as has been chaffed consecu consecutively for three rounds. The Drides stand on their steadfast against the Dragon. The Dried Champion was killed in a duel. Now Sylvan Elves, turn 3. The Dragon decimates the unit of Drides, but they're still steadfast and stand. They got up a Divination spell, so the uh, Tree Father Ancient who cast the Divination spell is also cold-blooded, and he stands, even though he's down to one wound now, and he hasn't been able to pick off a single Dragon Prince in four rounds of combat. Now Highborn Elves turn 4. We end the game abruptly as we see that the Highborn Elves manage to push through. So they'll likely be winning the battle. And therefore we declare the victory to the Highborn Elves.